Marie M. Daly was an African-American biochemist. She strongly believed in breaking down the barriers that disadvantaged minorities faced in the scientific field. And she blazed this path into the future by being the first African-American woman to get a PhD in chemistry. Her story begins in Queens, New York. <laughs> her family of five was touched by money shortage, which prevented her father from higher education. Despite that, the family believed education was very important. When she showed interest in the work of famous microbiologist Louis Pasteur, her mother encouraged her bright daughter to pursue it. Daly attended Queen's College in New York to study chemistry. She graduated in 1942 and continued to chase her goal of higher education. University was expensive, and unlike many of the upper-class students that she worked with, she did not have a wealthy family to rely on to pay for it. However, her ambition earned her a job as a lab assistant, which she used to support herself. In 1947, after years of hard work, she achieved her doctorate in biochemistry from Columbia University, later realising that she was the first African-American woman to do so. She studied at the College for Physicians and Surgeons, where she conducted groundbreaking research. She discovered that fat on the arterial walls of the heart causes heart attacks and disease. This then helped scientists to warn those at risk. In 1948, she started a seven-year grant under the American Cancer Society, researching how proteins were created and synthesized in the body. Despite her success, she realized that she was very lucky. World War II created opportunities for her that would have otherwise been filled by men. Daly never forgot that, like her father, her path could have been cut short by circumstance and prejudice. For this reason, she founded a scholarship fund in 1988 to honor her father. Her goal was to create opportunities for disadvantaged students to access higher education in scientific fields. Daly was instrumental in the effort for creating opportunities for others. Her story highlights the importance of using your achievements and success to give others a chance to do the same. Let's continue her fight for equality and diversity in the workplace. We, we are, are almost there! there.